What's up guys, Cheeks here from Cheeks Deck Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the latest A9 5X Max Plus. Now they are calling this the video game box. It's got some impressive specs and this comes with a wireless game controller and also two different remote controls. So first of all, inside the box you will find your user manuals, HDMI cable, a power adapter, and I'll tell you the voltage, it's 12 volts, 2500 MA. You're getting a USB-C to USB-A charger cable for the game controller. So you do get a wireless game controller included with this package, and it's not an average generic style controller. This is actually very nice. You've got your four trigger buttons, very ergonomic and comfortable in the hands. You've got this grippy texture here, dual joysticks and a D-pad. You've got a plus and minus button, so that's going to be for volume control, home button, a button which says T, and a button with a zero on it. So we'll find out what all of that does a bit later. Now, another unique thing is you can choose what type of D-pad you want. So they basically slot on top. So you can have traditional D-pad, or you can have something that looks like that, or this one here. So you've got three different styles. I think I'm just going to go traditional and just keep the standard D-pad. Awesome stuff, really liking this controller so far and I'm impressed that it's not a cheapy generic style one. So yes, we will be testing this out very shortly. If that's not enough, you're getting a standard remote control and you can control your television with this remote control. Instructions on the back and this is powered by two AAA batteries. You're also getting a Nintendo Wii style remote. So they're calling this the sensor remote. It's nearly the same and you're going to be able to wave things around and hopefully play games. So you do have your D-pad, home button, a mouse button, OK, back, volume control, you've got a menu button in the middle and a speaker, and I'm hoping that's not a dummy, I'm hoping that is an actual speaker, X, A, B, Y, and a single trigger button on the back. Now this sensor controller is powered by two AA batteries and you do have a USB dongle to connect it to the box. Last but certainly not least, the TV box itself. So here it is guys, the A9 5X Max Plus. This box is made completely from a metal body. It's uh, space grey all the way around. It looks and feels absolutely amazing. Now quickly talk about the dimensions. It's 12.5 centimeters in height and 7.5 centimeters in width. On the front of the box you have an infrared sensor for the remote control. You also have two full-size USB 3 ports two standard USB 2 ports, micro SD card slot, and a physical power button. So it's nice that you've got all of your ports at the front of the box. Now if we go over to the back of the box, you have your power socket, gigabit LAN, HDMI out, your SPDIF optical in, and an AV port. On the top you do have a lot of ventilation and the vents are also made from metal. And this is what the bottom of the box looks like. And again, the stand is made from metal as well, but you do have rubber feet to keep the TV box still. So this box is all about gaming. It's called the A9 5X Max Plus Video Gaming Box. So I'm hoping the system will be running nice and cool and I look forward to testing this out. So let's quickly go over the specs. I'll put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. Now we have the S922 Hexacore CPU with the Mali G52, four gigs of DDR4 RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. Now you do have a micro SD card slot for expansion. You've got dual band Wi-Fi AC, gigabit LAN, Bluetooth version 4.2. This is running full Android version 9 Pi. Supports 4K HDR at 60 frames per second. This supports HDR10 with HDMI version 2.1 and 5.1 surround sound. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this beast of a TV box hooked up and find out exactly what it's capable of. <laughs> you know I can't wait to test this one out. So let's get cracking. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 33 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And here is the home screen for this box. You have a clean and simple layout with your search icon on the top left with connection info and local time on the right, followed by a customizable favorite section so you can select your favorite apps to appear in this top row. 
The next row is dedicated to games and the first large icon is called Action Games and these are exclusive games especially designed for this TV box which you're going to be using the Nintendo Wii type of sensor controller and we will be testing this out later. And the next two rows will show you all your apps and finally at the bottom you have an app drawer, main settings and Wi-Fi connection info. Now if we head over to main settings, go to device preferences and check out the system storage info, this box has 64 gigs of internal storage from which you have 54 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick looking about, you will see that we are running full Android version 9 Pi. Now let's have a look at the complete system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet. And you do have quite a few apps to get you started, including Airscreen, Sectors Play, you've got some games pre-installed, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, you even have a PSP emulator pre-installed and ready to use, which we will test a little bit later in this video. And of course, the full version of the Google Play Store where you can download all your favorite games and apps. Now, the first thing I tested was screen mirroring with the included Airscreen app. And unfortunately, I was unable to connect with either my iOS or Android smartphone. So this box apparently does not support screen mirroring. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive. And I will be doing this with the included TVMC media player, which is basically the same as Kodi media player. But if you wanted the official version of Kodi, simply uninstall the TVMC and install the official version of Kodi from the Play Store. So the first video is a 4K high bitrate jellyfish demo and this one is 160 megabits per second and playback is nice and smooth as expected. So now we're going to jump straight to the 400 megabits per second file and again you can see the playback is super smooth with no issues at all. So this box plays high bitrate 4K files with no issues. So moving on now to the YouTube test and you can stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube. They can't see us. You just told them we're here. What was that? I think that was a rifle. Come on. Everybody get here! It's 1985. Why? What year do you think it is? 2018. 2018. Last thing. Wonderful time of the year. Valerie, it's late. We're waiting for you. Kids, I'll be right back. Guess we start without him. I'm sorry. Now, Netflix and Amazon Prime is working absolutely fine, but unfortunately, the maximum resolution supported is 480p. I don't think they're going to get away. They thought it was a gang. The cops said it was the wrong house. Moving on to the gaming test, beginning with Real Racing 3. So I'm pleased to see that PUBG Mobile detected the highest HDR graphical settings for this TV box. So now we're going to test out the sensor controller or the Nintendo Wii style controller. So it does work like a standard infrared wireless remote. But you also got a air mouse, if you press the mouse button, you got air mouse control there. 
You can turn off the mouse by pressing the mouse button again. You then have a home button, volume control. So what we're going to do now is test out the brand new action games. So they're designed for this controller. So let's see. Let's open up the action games folder. So here are all the games you can play with this included sensor remote. So you've got ski, salon, bowling, curling, and so on and so forth. So quite an extensive range of games. Um, so we're going to try something out. Let's go ahead and play tennis. So next up we are testing out the PSP emulator. So I downloaded two PSP games, I put them on a USB drive and I was able to access those games directly from the USB and the PSP games played absolutely fine with no issues at all. So for you advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level 3 and here is CPU Z where you can check out the clock speeds and you can see this is running the Mali G52. Furthermore, this box is running Android version 9 and does come rooted as standard. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we've got download speeds of 58 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 3207 and in the Antutu benchmark test we achieved 109k. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top Android TV box chart of 2019 and as you can see the A9 5X Max Plus has taken position 7 on this chart. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chigstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new A9 5X Max Plus. So here are my thoughts on this device. This is one of the most powerful TV boxes after the Nvidia Shield TV. Gaming performance is great, you can play any game from the Play Store on the highest settings. This box also has the power to play emulators such as PSP, Dreamcast and many more nice and smooth. You can play high bitrate 4K HDR from a USB drive 4K 60 frames per second from YouTube, however Netflix and Amazon Prime are limited to 480p max and that is of course due to the lack of licensing. Furthermore, I could not get screen mirroring to work and I did test both Miracast and AirPlay. Also, do bear in mind that this TV box is not slim and low profile, it's a 12cm high TV box so you would need to consider your setup and how it would look. Bottom line, this is a super Android TV box, great if you're looking for a custom box which already comes rooted and has the power to do pretty much anything you like, but at $164, you might ask yourself, should I add $40 to $50 more and get an Nvidia Shield TV instead? Now I personally love what this company has produced, a dedicated gaming TV box, something different, offering great power and performance along with some exclusive action games which are only available on this box. This is certainly an interesting box which should gain quite a bit of interest. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.